Thanksgiving is a couple weeks away. I'm actually going to be hosting this year. I have 10 people or so coming over for dinner. So I thought it would be a nice touch to create some homemade table settings for everyone. The material that I'm using to actually cut out my turkey is this 12 inch by 12 inch cardstock. I used SolidWorks to actually define uh, or design the turkey. And then I used a program called NestingWorks that's going to help me maximize how many I can cut with one sheet. First I do a sketch that represents half of the shape that the paper will make when folded to create the turkey body. Uh, as you can see, it sort of looks like a half heart shape. Uh, the head of the turkey will start at the bottom here where the two halves will be glued together and it then curls around and connects back on itself at the top of the heart. This is where the tail of the fan will be connected. I used a style spline to mimic the shape of the paper looping back in on itself. The style spline is a great tool here because I can easily apply constraints to the underlying construction geometry while it maintains a perfectly smooth shape. I also used a path length dimension to define the total length of the sketch segments, making it easy to control the overall length of the paper space used by my turkey body cutout. Um, and finally, I chose to extrude this as a surface body, which will make the rest of my design process more flexible. For the sake of time, let's fast forward the rest of the design process. Uh, after creating some necessary supporting geometry, I'll create a new sketch to import the image of the hand drawing I made for my turkey. I just sized down uh, to match the approximate shape of my paper. I'll rename that sketch and create a separate sketch to trace the geometry using sketch splines. I like to use the regular traditional spline tool here because it allows me to have a higher level of control to match the desired shape. I can still apply any necessary sketch relations as I need, uh, but when possible I like to use two point splines because that allows me to maintain smoother curvature. After I've completed my sketch with any necessary dimensions, I can go ahead and use that sketch to trim the turkey shape out of my paper. I'll also draw a second sketch to represent the shape of the paper as it wraps around to the inside of the heart and make sure those two surfaces are joined together. Finally, I'll use the surface flattening command to flatten or unfold my heart-shaped turkey, and then I can thicken my surface to match my cardstock. So now that I've completed my turkey cutout, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Nesting Works add-in. So this is a third-party product that's going to allow me to optimize the number of cutouts I can create in one 12 by 12 inch sheet of cardstock. So I'm setting up a pretty simple project here. You can get pretty complex as far as the number of different components and different shapes you can combine into one, um, one nesting job. But in this case, I'm just going to set this. Let's do a plan for 25 for now. It's probably a little high as far as the number I'm having for dinner, but I'd rather overshoot it. And then go in to define um, the parameters for my sheet. There's a number of pre-populated standard sheets that come in here. Uh, I'm going to do a custom sheet of 12 inches by 12 inches. Uh, of course, I could save this as a standard sheet if I wanted to use this regularly in the future. And then finally, I'll set my part to part distance at uh, 0.1 inches, see if I can utilize a little bit more sheet out of that. And I don't care if this bumps right up against the edge of my sheet, so I'll set my part sheet distance at zero. And right from there, we can preview our nest. Uh, we can see that, you know, what that nest is going to look like as well as take a look at our utilization at 60%, quantity of 11, so I can probably accomplish this in just three or four sheets for, uh, for what I'm going to need. And finally, when I go to generate this assembly, it's actually going to create a SolidWorks assembly for me as well as a DXF uh, that I can print out. I can print it to scale if I wanted to create some cutouts. Uh, and then I can go ahead and start building my turkeys. Okay, so now that you know how I actually designed the turkey in SolidWorks, it's actually time to put it together. So I've already cut out a couple stencils to use. I have my layout for how I'm going to put it together. I'm going to lay that out, trace it, use my exact knife to cut it up, and then uh, I'll take my glue gun and my stapler <laughs> to actually assemble everything together. So let's go. So... There you have it. I added some googly eyes and some flowers to add a little bit more color, make it a little bit more interesting. Hopefully this is able to add some festive atmosphere to my Thanksgiving dinner table. Uh, I 
am super grateful to SolidWorks and Nestingworks for helping me uh, optimize my design and really take advantage of my materials uh, to create, uh, you know, as many different fun flavors of my turkey as I possibly can. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.